Oh my god, you would not just believe how much I just spent in there. Oh, oh, hi, turn the camera on. Wow, oh, sorry guys. So, welcome. I'm gonna try this new thing called vlogging. So we realize this is a stream roleplay. I mean, a stream. Okay? Yeah. So we're gonna tr I'm gonna try this thing vlogging. Um, just got out of the bank. I took out a huge loan. Some of the stuff I was able to pay out of pocket. Most of it. My farm. I just bought a farm. Built the farm. And I had to take out a loan for that. So, yeah. Took out a big loan for that. That's a mortgage, so. So that I'll probably have for 30 years. This equipment I have, like, five-year payments on them. So. I drive my own, my old long hair. Chevy 1500 and uh, it's 1999 and I'm not gonna get rid of this hopefully very soon my wife just got herself a new Suburban so I we really can't afford to get another new car after all this I've done too okay so over here most of this equipment's decent equipment some of it's just to get us through the first few years that I paid right out of pocket for, so I didn't have to take out a loan for everything. Look, this truck's just gonna get me through a year or two. I might even trade it in the summer. Oh, if I don't trade, I'll just buy another one. Um, here's my newer semi. Is we have a long distance and a big hill we gotta haul, so I got a Western Star semi. With a Cummins engine in it, a big Cummins engine. Um, then I've got two JM gravity wagons, a bucket for a skid loader I have. I don't know why they put that over there. A Kinsey grain cart also, so we can just bring the grain cart over, dump it into these in the semi. Then um got this little utility trailer. Why not? I do a lot of mowing and stuff and thought I'd need that PJ trailer I knew I was gonna use. Now my wife's been wanting a toy hauler slash camper for a while. There's a little camping hut in there. A bed. Then we got a, a forks for that skid steer brand new, obviously. I paid out of pocket for some of this stuff. This I paid out of pocket for. Because this is just a New Holland Haybine that's supposed to get me through the first year or two. I'm hoping it will. Um, I only got it. I only paid like $2,000 for it, so... It, it, it'll get me here too, I'm happy. Um, yeah, and then my John Deere S690. This is a 2015 John Deere S690. With 3,000 engine hours and 3,500. <laughs> 3,500 engine hours and 3,000 section hours, sorry. So, yeah, I gotta go get the keys for all this, obviously, before I start it. So, like, Conway has quite a bit of hours on it for its age, but it's been taken very well care of. I know the guy that used to own it. So, let me show you. Oh, Johnson's Implements, John Deere is where all this is coming from. Some of it they have brought in from other places. But I was thinking about buying, a, I just took a few minutes looking at an old Kenworth they had. 1998, uh, and I decided against it. We don't, I don't have money. I pretty much wiped out my bank account doing this farm, getting all the old equipment. And then, next up, what I could get on a loan. So, a beauty, a beauty, 22 years old, but still gets me around. So, here's where a lot of my money went a brand new uh, Coon Rake. Huge, is we're gonna run, we're gonna running a bunch of cattle. So I, I, I was, my it, me, I was a hauler. My wife was a, and um, my wife was a lawyer, and we have a lot of money, but I inherited a thousand acres from my father, because he used to just have acreage, and I don't know why. 
but I'm planning on buying, I took out a mortgage to buy another thousand, so I'd have two thousand acres close to. And, yeah, it's quite a bit, so that's why we're getting this bigger stuff. So, yeah, a big hay bind. We're gonna do probably a lot of cattle, maybe some horses. Then, right here, we've got a little, brand new little square bit. Actually, no, this isn't brand new. It's a year old. One season through it. Um, square baler. I'm not gonna use it ridiculous amounts, just little tiny bales, but it's the back up and good little bales if I need to have a problem with skid load or something. Here's my John Deere four four six six um round bale loader. Um round bale baler. Um this is what's gonna do all the most of the bailing. It is a two thousand and nine, but it, it it's new enough. It only has, the guy thought, like, he only ran it for, like, five, he had a tractor for it, and he only ran it for, like, four, four or five hundred hours. Is that what that, hours. So, I don't think it's had too much use, but there, right here is our Case Tiger Mate 200 Cultivator. This will do all, all the deep ripping in the farm. Yeah. Here's our K John Deere 268 OH disc this will do like the light compacting compacted areas and stuff jobs i'm also planning on getting a little one for like areas where we park the semis and then the fields and it's really compacted that's been ordered it just won't be here for a day or two <laughs> that was fine here's our corn header for our combine yeah nothing too fancy but as you see it it's brand new um but it folds and unfolds Here's a sprayer for our sprayer. Here's the 49, 2015 4940 sprayer. John Deere. It's my first one. Maybe I'll get a second one at some point. That's why I just had the label put on. I uh, also had extra duels put on. And Green Star added. Then over here is one of my few brand new trackers. Banking new off, off the lot. John Deere 410 8R. Brand Spank and new. But yeah. Here's my John Deere 8110. 2010. Yeah, 2010. It will get the job done. It's probably going to be like a planting tractor or something. I don't know. I probably will have assigned jobs for most of my tractors. Here's our new... Oh, I said I have one of my two new tractors in AR. This is, that's technically my only new tractor. This is my towing rig. It's a little overkill for this farm, but the 9570RT. Yeah, it has like 500 horsepower or something like that. But this will do pretty much all the light ripping and deep ripping. Mostly the old deep ripping. I might have the AR on the uh, desk. But this will do a majority of the plowing. Yeah, it has 2,000 hours on it. And it's a 2017. Okay, and then after the 9RT, we have got my GMC service truck. GMC Top Kick service truck. This one actually has the keys too. Yeah, pretty isn't it? Now, the guy said they had to put a Chevy steering wheel in, but not a big deal. Mm -hmm. I don't care. Then we're on to my John Deere 4455. Woo! Wow, that's a little looking. I got all the keys in the tractors, too. So, let's listen to this. That's a really good track right there. Then right here we have my New Holland model number over here. Nope, just a New Holland. I'm not exactly sure what model number. New Holland header for the John Deere combines. This actually came with the header trailer. John Deere doesn't offer that. So this is a 2018, two years on it and roughly 500 hours on it. 
So it's a good machine. I just got it cheap. Then over here we move to the 4440. It's a decent tractor. Isn't listen to the tractor purr. Usually it takes longer to purr. Hold on. There we go. That is one good time to tractor. Then back here we have my DB60 John Deere 24 row planner. I don't know if this tractor will be able to handle it. Don't think so, and don't think I'm going to run it on it anyways. I'm pretty sure this will probably go on the 8R. Probably be what the 8R does. Maybe the 81, kind of, if it can handle it. Then, over here, we've got the Case TV 370 skid loader. 175th university. Anniversary. Not university. <laughs> uh, and, uh... Then over here we've got my little case 235 case international lawnmower. The only problem that I got that right there for it. The only problem is I don't have a towing truck. So I'm gonna fix that. Yeah, they just had it. I just picked it up. Um, this is my 1971 Chevrolet. Cheyenne 30. My beauty truck. Really, this is a beauty truck. And if you look inside. Classic. A tow peg. Eventually, this is just to get myself off my feet. Eventually, I'll buy a better one. But the tow pig's not going to be driven much. It's just going to be towing to the farm. This will be driven a bunch. I'm working out a deal with trading this in, though. Well, not trading it in. Getting another truck. A newer one. So I can have one decent truck. And then I'll have this as a little pop pop truck. Drive around. On Sundays. And I'll have brand new truck drive around normally.